Can you hear us? Can you <laughs> over? We are sinking. We are sinking. Hello? This is the German Coast Guard. We are sinking. We're sinking. What are you thinking about? As you can see, the German Coast Guard wasn't quite ready to help, as there was a little bit of confusion between their pronunciation and English. This was a German advertisement made to promote learning English, and it highlights just how important listening skills are, as well as the main topic of this lesson, pronunciation. There are lots of different parts of language that make up pronunciation, but I'm going to concentrate on five super top tips that will make you sound much more like a fluent native English speaker. First of all, we'll look at stress and intonation, which will focus largely on the tone and sound of your voice. Then we'll have a look at how native speakers often skip letter sounds in words, and this will make you sound a lot more fluent. Let's begin with stress and intonation. To get us going, we're going to begin with looking at word stress. The first important thing to understand is syllables. A syllable is how many beats are in a word. For example, book has one beat, therefore one syllable. Whereas curtain has two syllables or two beats. Curtain. The first syllable in the following words are stressed. For example, object, insult, conflict. And in the next set of words, the second syllable is stressed. Participant. Narrate. Begin. It's important when learning new vocabulary to understand where the stress is. Next, let's look at sentence stress. Using the topic of swimming, I have a few examples that should help you understand how sentence stress can really affect the meaning of a sentence. The letters in bold are stressed. So, let's hear a few examples. David will swim later tonight. Here, the speaker is emphasising who will go swimming. So, imagine the question is, who is swimming tonight? And the answer is, David will swim later tonight. For the next example, imagine the question is, what is David doing tonight? The answer would be, David will swim later tonight. For the next example, imagine the question is, when will David go swimming? Where do you imagine the stress would be? David will swim later tonight. As you can see, where we put stress in a sentence can change the meaning completely, so it's really important to think about how you stress certain words in your sentence. And now we've reached intonation. During the IELTS speaking test, it's important to try and make sure you're speaking with feelings and emotion and like you're interested in the subject you're talking about. This will make your speaking and intonation sound more exciting and more dynamic, which will mean you'll also sound less rehearsed, which will give you extra points in the IELTS speaking test. Let's see two examples. Yesterday, I spent the afternoon at the park. Let's try it again with a little bit more feeling. Yesterday, I spent all afternoon at the park. Do try and practice speaking with emotion and varying your intonation, as I'm sure it will get you extra points in the speaking test. In this part of the lesson, we'll be looking at contractions, and contractions actually mean something getting smaller. Native English speakers will often drop sounds or merge words together to speeden up their speech. With practice, this can make you sound much more natural in English. To begin, we'll look at blending phrases. Here are a few examples of words that blend together. You may have noticed that the end of the first word has the exact same sound as the start of the second word. In the phrase social life, the joining sound is ul. The second phrase orange juice is a little more difficult to see because of the spelling, 
But if you use your ears, you can see that orange and juice both have the joining sound of zh. Native English speakers will make the joining sound only once, as this speeds up their speech. So instead of social life, we say social life. Orange juice becomes orange juice. And pet turtle becomes pet turtle. It will take some time, but it's a great way to sound more natural. And maybe this is something that you could practice with your language exchange partner. Now let's take a look at some common contractions that are often used in native English language. Verbs that are joined with not are very commonly contracted. But also modal verbs, which are words such as would, should, could, might, must, are also contracted very commonly. Have not becomes haven't. Are not becomes aren't. And should have becomes should have. By using these five different techniques for pronunciation, I promise that you will improve your score in your speaking test. Keep practicing hard and try and concentrate on only one of these top tips in one day. And in the next day, you could try a different one. All the best of luck and I'll see you in the next lesson.